Hey everybody, welcome to the cool down vlog. I know I've been doing this every other day video thing. I think it works better. I just can get more content in there instead of complaining about everything else. I am going to make trying to make this video short today because I left the house really late. I got distracted on something I was watching in a game I was playing. And so between the two, I kind of lost track of the time. So anyway, other things. So we're gonna get the exhaust thing. We're gonna have that looked at this weekend, see if that fits the, the new balance for the car. If it does, we're we're good to go. Sorry, trying to get the camera just right. And then we can go from there. The other thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, again, track down a way to make my shifter in the little Fiat have less issues where it looks like it has less play. And for some of y'all who are probably new to the channel or didn't see it if I didn't put it up I don't remember either way I'm gonna just put it up again here because it's content and something different so here's my little aftermarket shifter and I got to put the clutch in because again we're still running so in first gear that looks fine but you should not have that much play in first gear second gear same thing third gear yeah, third gear I mean, it's like the same amount of play in all the gears. Fifth gear. Uh, give me a second. Reverse is always a little bit weird. So, that's been aggravating me because I don't think that's the way it should be. I think it should be a little tighter than that. So, I've talked to another company... Uh, see if their product, which is a little bit different than the short throw shifter I got in there right now See if their product uh, might relieve that because really all I want is I just wanted to have a, a Guide that kind of has you know like little prongs in there So that when you go in gear it grabs it in the gear and it won't let it go side to side So that way for me it, it won't play with my head and that way My shifts will be a little bit better because well I won't be going over more than I need to uh, To grab another gear and I think it'll help with if I'm driving quickly slash aggressively, that let's sort of turn off the heat, that it won't feel like I might miss a gear because I thought I uh, was in the right gear and then when I go to shift, I'm actually in too high of a gear or too low of a gear. So we'll see what they say. If it is, then unfortunately the money I spent on this, well, that's gonna be by the wayside, but I could probably turn around and sell it and make some money off of it. So who knows, I might be able to come out even but also, also, the wonderful check engine lights back on. And I know certain people in my that watch my videos are going to say, well, fix it again, Tony. The favorite acronym of everybody on uh, Fiat. But it's just a switch. I know it is because it keeps coming up from time to time. And it's usually when it's cold. Once it warms up, it usually come, goes away. So we'll see. Eventually, I'll get it changed out, replaced, and then it should be good if it's a switch. If it's not the switch, I don't know. I'll have to re-troubleshoot it again after that point. But that's about it for today's video. I said I was going to be short, but I ended up rambling on anyway. So remember, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get those numbers up, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.